Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're gonna give you our initial impressions of the Spring Bar Classic Jack 140 tent. We're also gonna be covering 10 points that I think may help you in making your decision on whether or not to buy this tent or not. So let's get to the video. Guys, we've had this tent up for four days. I've camped out in it three nights. The very first night that we had it, it got down into the low 40s, almost touching the 30s. We had our winter L stove set up in it. And I feel like we've had it up long enough to at very least give you our initial impressions. We will do a full review later on. The very first point that I want to make, number one, is I can't by myself 90% of the time, whether I'm camping, hunting, or fishing, 90% of the time I'm by myself, with the exception of Buster, who always travels along with me. This tent, being the spring bar, the way it's designed, you can actually set it up by yourself. So to me, that was a key selling point for me because I can't have a tent where it takes two or three people to set up. It's got to be something I can set up on my own and you can definitely do that with this tent. Next, one of the things that I love about canvas tents is they are breathable, so you're not going to get that musty smell like you would in some of the other tents. This tent is made out of a 10 ounce cotton canvas fabric and it's very, in my mind, heavy duty. If you guys remember last year in our TP, Buster ended up running his foot through it and ripped it. And it's not rip stop and now we've got a hole there permanently. I don't think you're gonna accidentally rip a hole in this canvas bringing firewood in or out or any of that. It's very well made, everything's double stitched. You've also got reinforcements in the, in the corners and anywhere there's a stress point where it's gonna be pulling taut. They've double layered the canvas fabric to make it even stronger in those areas where you've got more stress. If you plan on using this tent in the summer, that's one of the wonderful things about this tent is you've got really large windows throughout the tent. You've got a big window right here beside the door. The door is also a, makes into a window. Both ends, you have the big triangle windows and then on the side opposite of the door, it's actually a huge window itself. While we're talking about the windows, I need to point out that the windows do have that no seam fabric so that it works just like a screen at home. It's gonna keep the mosquitoes and the bugs out, but you're still gonna be allowed a lot of breeze to travel through these large openings in the windows, which make it wonderful if you're camping in the heat of the summer, you're still gonna have that breathability of the cotton canvas and then you're also going to get some ventilation in here with the wind and if that's not enough they, everybody's got those little 12 volt rechargeable fans while we're talking about the windows it's a good time to point out that all the windows have these little pockets or the window on this end has these little pockets right here that's a great place to store like your spices if you can see we've got this little table set up on this end so that we can set up our little camp stove if it is raining outside, we can still cook inside, make our stews, soups. We can make our breakfast, that type of stuff. And then you've got basically a spice rack built in right underneath this window. So that makes it nice as well. The floor is made out of an extremely heavy duty vinyl. And it reminds me of what you would see in a pool liner. I mean, this stuff is thick. I don't picture the dog accidentally stepping and running his claws through it. That is one of the things that we did order along with our tent because we did order a few extras and having that footprint for the bottom uh, just is just going to help make sure that your canvas floor and your canvas tent floor lasts longer. So I think that's worth the extra money, especially knowing that I'm going to have a dog in and out of here all the time. While we're talking about the floor, I'm going to show you real quick just uh, kind of a hack. If you guys know campground is ever going to be a perfectly level spot, but what I've been doing over the last couple of years, especially when we're sleeping in the cots, is I bring me along a few little small pieces of like one by two, one by three, just some scrap that you got. You could even use three quarter inch plywood, something like that. You can go ahead and level out your cot or maybe even your camp table that you're setting up inside the tent with a few extra pieces, a little one by wood and that's kind of a camp hack that a lot of people aren't really talking about but I've been doing that for years and it's a big big help when you're sleeping in your sleeping bag there's nothing worse than waking up on the edge in the morning because you've kind of the gravity's kind of pulled you off the side one other thing that I want to point out while we're talking about the floor this canvas tent comes with basically a rope that's sewn in all the way around the perimeter 
of your tent. So that way when you're staking it down, you can get it nice and taut. That extra reinforcement is going to help this tent and it just makes it a little more sturdier and a little more durable. One of the next things that I do want to point out is all the doors. They have really good heavy duty zippers built into this system. If you purchase the flagship model from Spring Bar, they actually come with the YKK zippers. This tent here being the classic jacket was made overseas. They're not the YKK, but what I do want to point out is they are the wide tooth zippers. That is a huge perk when you're talking about tents because inevitably you're going to be camping out somewhere where you're going to have sand and dust and dirt and that wide tooth zipper just holds up a lot better than those tiny ones. Those tiny ones get cram jammed full of stuff and then your zipper fails on you. One of the next things that I do want to point out while we're talking about the doors and windows, this has a very nice door in it. This door is basically three foot wide and almost six foot tall. If you're like me and you're six foot tall and 200 pounds and you're trying to carry your gear in and out, bringing in the, the wood burning stove, bringing your cot, bringing your little table in, you don't have to worry about hanging up in the doorway. That's happened to me several times, especially with the TP with that triangle door. It just never did work right. I'd end up with a crick in my back before it was I could even get camp set up. This tent, the door's tall enough. You may have to duck a little bit to get in, but it's wide enough that you can carry a lot of heavy gear in and out of it without banging the door to death. So here's my final thoughts on this tent, guys. Number one, I believe this is a quality, well-made tent. If having a tent that you can set up by yourself and you know it's quality, it's going to last, it was built to last, it's built to weather the storms, this tent I believe is for you. One of the main key features that I really sold me on this tent, number one, is I did want to be able to use my winter rail stove. You guys know that I love the wood burning stove. It just kind of adds to the authenticity of, of your camping experience. You get that warm glow. It's a great way to heat your tent and this tent comes hot tent ready which means that you can put your winter L wood burning stove in here you don't have to worry about catching your canvas on fire because it's made for it specifically for the winter L's which makes it a huge perk in my mind but one of the secondary things that I truly love about this tent is the optional rain fly guys there's nobody else in the market that I know of that's even making a rain fly there's nobody talking about it but I can tell you on them slow soaking rain days where it may last two or three or four days this thing's going to stay dry and that was one of the selling points for me because I have come back to camp before and everything aside from me being soaking wet hunting all day in the rain come back and my tent had water in it and that just it takes some of the fun out and this just it gives me a little more reassurance that that's not going to happen with a rain fly that's specifically designed for this tent to help it gives you that additional layer of protection to know that you're going to stay dry and that was huge selling point we did go ahead and we purchased the side panels so maybe that'll be a good place to store some firewood and maybe keep it dry in case we do get into some of those rains like that. While we're talking about the side panels that go on the awning, number one is they're made for this tent. The awning already has a zipper built into it. So those zip in, that way you've got a nice secure fitment. You don't have to worry about a bunch of excess wind or flapping around or that little piece getting torn off because it zips right into the awning. While we're talking about the awning, that is one thing that the flagship model comes with that this one doesn't. They put an extra grommet in the center of the awning. And here's what I did. I ordered an extra pole and I built a piece out of leather and I'll show that to you right now, guys. And here's what I'm planning on doing. If we get into them rainy days, I'm gonna leave that center pole up, put your flaps down on the side of your awning and then that way the water can run off the top of the awning. The way it is right now is there's going to be a little bit of a dip in your awning and I'll show you a picture of that, what it looks like with and without. But putting this extra pole in there, raising that pole up as high as it'll go, it makes it just that much easier to get in and out of the tent, first of all. And then second is you're going to, it's going to shed water much easier than it would without it. Tip that I always do, I always leave a piece of canvas laying in the floor and it doesn't matter. I've been using these in my marmot tents and, and everything else. If you'll throw down a piece of canvas, that way when you're coming in and out and your dog's tracking dust and dirt and stickers, right before you go to bed each night, I grab that canvas, I take it outside and I shake it out. That gets rid of all your sand that's in the floor. It gets rid of all the stickers that could potentially get you when you get up in the middle of the night. 
Guys, we'd love to hear from you. What are some of the things that you've done to make your tent a little more personal or, or make it a little more yours? And again, guys, if you've just purchased the canvas tent, I want to say congratulations. I'm so happy and proud for you. I know I'm super proud to be owning this tent and I can't wait to get it out in the woods. Guys, we're gonna be using this canvas tent really soon. We're less, we're less than a week out. We're heading out to the, our trad bow hunting trip that we take every year. If that's something that you would enjoy, I'd love to talk you into subscribing. We also do a lot of fishing here in East Texas. If that's something that you're interested in, I'd love to talk you into subscribing. Again, guys, I know we're gonna be able to create some awesome memories at Deer Camp using this, and I can't wait to start using it next spring and summer here in Deep East Texas. So again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week, and let's get outside and make something happen. Fire <laughs> Fire